Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to hop into it because I only have a limited time to be reading. But today we are going to be reading Barbarian's Prize. This is the fifth installment in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. I have the first four reading vlogs on my channel if you wanna watch it. I will put the most recent up here. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for this. I got this in the mail yesterday, February 28th. That was a release date. Had it on pre-order, obviously. I have had such a hard time reading in this past semester, and so I'm hopeful that this book will kind of get me in a reading groove. I have about an hour and a half before I need to leave for class and won't be able to read. So we're gonna try to reading sprint this. Of course, this vlog will be spoiler and non-spoiler, non-spoiler coming first. I'll have timestamps and everything like that. Um, but yeah, obviously this is the fifth book, so there's going to be spoilers in it. Um, just normal spoilers. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about this, I feel like this can only be a spoiler vlog. Like at this point in the series, I feel like the vlogs are just going to be spoiler. So if you're not going to want spoilers, don't watch it. But anyways, the back of it says, Tiffany doesn't care about all the attention she's getting from the alien men, but there's one particular hunter she can see herself with. If only she can find a way to move forward from the past. It's hard being the most popular girl on the ice planet. Tiffany, tell me more about that. Um, the alien men are falling all over themselves to impress me in the hopes that, that I'll bring them to my furs, but they don't know my secrets and they don't realize that behind my smile, I just wish they'd take their courting presents and their competitions from my affection and go away. I want to be left alone, but on a planet where women are scarcity, that won't be happening. If I had to choose a mate, it'd be someone with a gorgeous blue body, big horns, and the most intense gaze ever. Someone who knows the truth of what happened to me and why I don't like attention. Patient, handsome, Sluk? Sluka? Don't know how to say his name. Knows my secrets. He knows why I have nightmares and why I don't trust anyone. He's willing to let me experiment with him. I can use him. Take what I need from him to work through my trauma. He's been a good friend and the best shoulder to cry on. There's one small problem. When it comes to us, he doesn't just want to be my friend. He wants to be my forever, and day by day, he's getting harder to resist. So, yeah, I don't really remember Tiffany. I feel like she wasn't, like, a huge main character. So I'm excited to get to know her. Um, but, yeah, we're just going to hop into this. I'm going to talk about it. Oh. Okay, so we have a little, like, what has gone before. Okay. Let's hop into this. I'm excited. Okay, I kind of liked this beginning chapter because it kind of tells us where we are in the story because all the books tend to kind of pick up at a different spot um, because obviously like we're not gonna, like all the women remain single until our first character is like made it and things like that. So this kind of gave us the backstory that they took the coup, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't really know. Um, so they can't go back to Earth because they have the sim Simbani, sim symbiote i can't talk um and it says right now that almost all have taken mates new babies are being born of human and saku pairings and the tribe stirs with life once more only two human women remain single this is where our story pick up picks up so tiffany is one of our single women so i'm excited to start reading it they've been there for a year and a half though so she hasn't resonated so is this going to be our first woman who chooses a mate that they don't resonate with. I'm very interested to see how Ruby Dixon navigates that. Okay, something I appreciate so much about these books is first they give you like a rundown in case you are reading them with a lot of time in between. And for me, I am. I haven't read one of these since July, I think. And so they're giving me information to remind me. Like I had forgot that there are two caves now, which is helpful to know because they're in the South Cave, which is the new cave, I guess. Um, and... I also really appreciate how every book has had like a different trope. So here this is kind of reminding me of the kiss quotient where she's practicing on him. It's kind of like not a fake dating but like kind of fake dating and I just I'm excited for it. He's like obsessed with her but also like doesn't want her to feel uncomfortable and things like that. Um, and so I think that's really interesting and I'm excited for it. I guess that like makes sense for Prize because he's like winning her over kind of. Um, but yeah, I've read just two chapters um, each from the perspective um, and it's been really good so far. I'm excited to keep on reading. I have um, about an hour, 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna read this um, and update if anything else happens. 
Okay, update. So the I the description kind of talked about how Tiffany, her she's like kind of like looked after, I guess. Like all the single men like her, not Josie, which kind of sucks for Josie. Although I think Josie and Hayden kind of have a thing going on. But but anyways, he um, Saku or Saluk Saluk Saluka. Don't know how you say his name. I think so Luke, um, he isn't competing because Josie set up this competition which makes sense for the prize. That way they leave Tiffany alone and so Luke agreed to be her like practice buddy. So we just got done with their first practice, they kissed, she freaked out, but they're getting to know each other better just like as friends, like comforting. Um, he's good at comforting her and so um, yeah, that happened. He also like brought home a divesty or I don't know how you pronounce it. That's how I say it in my head. He brought home one of those, which is basically like a pony kind of. He brought home a baby one so she could have it. So it's very cute. Um, I think I'm gonna read like maybe two more chapters and then I'll have to go to class. But that's a little update. I am, I'm actually really enjoying this one. I like both of the characters. I think it's interesting because Tiffany has like trauma. That's why they're doing this like fake dating thing um and so i think it's interesting like how that's being dealt with and i'm i'm liking it so far actually a lot so that's good okay guys things are happening and she just said but it's just another reminder that i'm not in kansas anymore i don't know if she's actually from kansas or if that's like a wizard of oz like cameo but it's good Things are spicing up. We are almost halfway through and it's good. I like am thoroughly like really enjoying this book a lot. Um, they, they're just progressing more. They're doing stuff and there's someone right next to them which is a little weird but like I don't want to go to class. I just want to finish this book but anyways that's, that's the update. Hey, hey guys, I currently have some down, some down time, so I'm wanting to read this. I haven't read it since, I think, Wednesday, March 1st. Today's March 3rd. Just got done volunteering, and I thought I would read it. Um, kind of honestly forget, like, where we... I know they did, I feel like they were doing some, some oral, if you know, you know, um, but... The relationship is developing something has happened with regards to like the olympics so i'm interested to see what happens there um but yeah we're just gonna keep on reading because i kind of forget where i was at okay we need to talk about this book i did finish this actually a couple days ago i'm going to be filming a lot of videos in this outfit so if you see that apologies but anyways i want to talk about barbarian's prize so this again is the fifth installment in the series i ended up rating it three stars i think i've rated all of the books three stars in this series i think i really like this one again these books follow the same like they're all a little similar because they're all stuck on the same island it's the same trope of the woman mating with the man and we see that i did like this one because we get another perspective which i think the first time we ever saw that was in two books ago which i don't even remember who the main character was i think it was kira was the main character and then we saw harlow's um point of view a little bit and then the fourth book was harlow's point of view and so we get to see the sixth main character which was josie we know josie is going to be the next one because she, her um her point of view was in this and i'm actually really i think i'm like most excited for josie's story because it's an enemy to lover series with hayden um if you know you know but anyways again rated this three stars i liked um the main characters saluk and tiffany i thought the trope was a little interesting where tiffany was like um all these guys wanted her attention i mean it dealt with like trauma and why she felt not okay with that and i think saluk um or saluka i don't really know how you pronounce his name competition and this was a little interesting um but I also, again, can understand her trauma and, like, why she didn't want to, um, say something about it, I guess. Which, um, which I liked. But I feel like I don't really have much to say. These reading vlogs are just going to continue getting less and less just because I'm just reading it. But again, I did enjoy reading it. I had fun. I thought it was nice and 
exactly what you're looking for in a Ice Planet Barbarian um, spinoff novel. But I did learn that the novella, so the honeymoon, that has been true to the past four novels. This one is original, so apparently they didn't have one before um, the published version. So I thought it was cool and it kind of deals with like familial ties because each girl has a different background and Tiffany was not used to large families and so when she was mated with Saluka she had to be okay with that and so I thought it was interesting how that kind of tied together and I thought it was fun that like the divesty that they decided to take care of I thought that was a really neat um and fun thing to add to it so I like that and also we get to see the children so we learned of Tally and then we learned of Rochelle and then we also learned of there was one other Kai yeah um so I'm excited to continue seeing the rest of the babies. I wonder if we're going to go back. I wonder if we're going to go back to the children because I don't know how that works. Um, so yeah, I, I'm liking it. I'm excited. We're going to keep on reading it. Um, and yeah, I will see you in June or July when the sixth book, Josie Story, comes out. Super excited for that one. I think that one will be in my top favorites. I still think Liz... Liz and Rauch. I'm I'm pretty sure those are the two. I think those are still my favorite. That's still my favorite story. Yeah, Rahosh, sorry. Uh in this video here, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Um yeah, okay. Peace and love. Bye guys.